I'm Diana Blass, and it's time to get up to speed on 5G. Does 5G cause health concerns? We're electric magnetic frequency people, but this, this weaponry is not. In Santa Barbara, California, activists, many dressed in yellow, took to the city council meeting in early March, urging members to put a big fat pause button on the implementation of new 5G cell phone antennas on light fixtures. And it worked. The council voted to delay authorizing Verizon to install 60 new 5G cell phone antennas in the downtown area. Critics claim that the radiation from 5G causes immunity issues, anxiety, depression, irritability. You know, China had 5G mad early. And this week, there are rumors that it's even causing coronavirus. What? And in Canada, the first 5G network goes live. Rogers has begun offering the service on the Samsung Galaxy 5G smartphone. The carrier is rolling out coverage in downtown Vancouver, Toronto, Ottawa, and plans to unveil 20 more markets in the coming year. This, as Samsung struggles to gain 5G market share, in its fourth quarter results, a tech giant said that growth has slowed in its home market and is now relying upon international demand to offset that decline. Check out more in this article by Light Reading. And can 5G be green? We spoke to Stephen Douglas, the author of this article on the 5G exchange, to learn about some of the unexpected benefits when it comes to the new tech. If you really, if you look at uh, where the major uh, CO2 emissions come from today, the ICT industry um, is really only uh, attributable to less than 2% uh, of carbon emissions. But the reality is 80% of all emissions come from four major industry sectors, including transport and automotive, uh, including utilities, including agriculture, uh, as an example. And it's in our interest to help those industries embrace technologies like 5G to enable greener outcomes within their own industry. Uh, and that's really where we think the greater opportunity is going forward. Well, now you're up to speed on 5G. I'm Diana Blass. See you next time on the 5G Exchange.